Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm in Terra Cruiser 3 down here in Venice. Just got done with my first real skate session in at least a month. Since I went and barged pools with, with Hayden, that's been about a month, man. You know, it's funny. You know, I've been working so much lately and doing whatever I've been doing that, I, you know, I just can't get down here to Venice, man. And it really kind of, it bums me out sometimes that, like, I don't have a skate park in my own town, man. And, you know, I, you know, those of you who watch this know I've done everything I pretty much can to get a skate park in Malibu. But, uh, alas, we don't have to. So there's, uh... There's no real skate scene out there. I mean, there is. There's the boys who skate and the whole thing. There's a couple half pipes and stuff like that. But I don't know. I get all bummed because it's a full, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get down here after work with all the traffic going on and, you know, Friday night rush hour, whatever. I always forget about that kind of stuff. But anyway, I got down here. I barged. Super stoked I did. But, you know, I was thinking about it after the session, like, yeah, even if Malibu had a skate park, like the scene down here in Venice is pretty cool, man. A lot of love down here. I just saw Mighty. We had a nice chat for a moment, just all about the love of skateboarding and fired up. And, you know, everyone's just ripping, having a good time down here. And it's like real skating, like the real deal. And, you know, I love skating under all conditions, but when you're with a bunch of heads rolling around going for it and everybody's crisscrossing and everybody's feeding off of everybody's energy that's what I'm all about that's why I like all those like scenes at the DIY parks where it's just all the local boys getting down and dirty and just going for it man you know you know I like going for like you know a private session with the boys every now and then but I prefer the full madhouse skate session the Burnside back in the old days, man, used to just be. And Venice kind of has that vibe. Like you gotta, you gotta have your wits about you. People are flying in and out of everything and everywhere. Like the skate scene down here has progressed in the last three or four years. That's for sure. I mean, everybody's just going mental down here. And for me, that's half of like what I love about skateboarding is watching other people shred, man. Like you know, at, at 45, my my skate game is kind of limited to what I do you know what I mean I'm not teaching old dogs new tricks so I love watching young bucks just working stuff out and really boosting man because they can and like the whole new technique of skateboarding is just insane how much air people really can get kind of blows me away and so here I am just all fired up on like how much I miss skating, man. It, it, you know, it's, it's a tough scene. You know, I've been, you know, I go grind the curbs down at the beach and, you know, go skate that pool I got on lock in the backyard that's kind of a novelty pool and, you know, go up to the, the Clover Bowl every now and then with like Rusty Hook or something. But I really dig the scene going on down here. Like that's half the fun. It's just like, you know, like they used to, like the, one of those things, like you show up and people are stoked to see you and there's some high fives going on and like you know what people are doing and you're feeding off of everybody's runs. Anyway, I thought I would just chime in because I just realized how little skating I've been doing and how important it is to my overall like mental, spiritual health. Like it, it's really a good thing. And the other thing too is like, you know, you really kind of lose your game a little bit when you don't skate, like, heavy round wall for, like, a month. I mean, like, that was it. I got, like, 45 minutes into it, and I felt my legs just getting fully wobbly. And, you know, when you're going as fast as you can on the round wall, man, you can't have, like, wobbly legs. So, anyway, you know, it's tomorrow's summer solstice, so uh, definitely can get here after work for the next, you know, three or four months and uh, get my shred on, dude. So I'm fired up. I just thought I'd chime in because skating's just so rad and everybody involved with skating's just so bitching and it gets me so fired up, man. I get fired up on just like skating and what the skating scene is because it, it's not like it in anything else. It's pretty unique. And you, you 
don't know what you're missing till it's not there. And I, I've been absent far too much the last month. So uh, we're going to step back in and get the skate game going on again. Anyways, the illusion super fired up on a Friday night before summer solstice.